So we are back for day three of Life Fest and ended up interviewing lots of people. So when we got there, we watched Shine Bright perform and we watched Josh Wilson for a little bit. Then we actually had a separate interview set up with Shine Bright. So I'll be posting that pretty soon. I have to go through all the footage. And then we also went and we saw a Citizen Way perform. We interviewed Family Force 5, which by the way, they are definitely as crazy in real life as they seem on stage. They put on a really fun show, and that show actually included trampolines and dinosaurs, which jumped on the trampolines. In addition to sumo wrestlers and karate people dressed up like karate people, so that was definitely an interesting performance. And let's see, who else did we interview? Well, right after Family Force 5, we interviewed Citizen Way. And like I said, we watched Family Force 5 perform. And then we interviewed Casting Crowns. We also interviewed Jeremy Camp. And we got to take a few pictures of that performance and see a couple songs. But then we had to go get ready for the Casting Crowns interview. And we then we watched Casting Crowns perform, and that was pretty much our day. Okay, so for today, day three of Life Fest, Saturday, July 9th, it looks like we're probably going to be interviewing Hot Nelson, and let's see, it also looks like we're going to most likely be interviewing Matt Marr, and for King and Country, we actually have a separate interview set up with Fireflight as well, so we'll be able to get you a more extended interview with Fireflight. And I'm really excited because we're also going to be seeing Super Chick perform. They disbanded a couple years ago, so I never thought I'd actually get the chance to see them live. But Life Fest, they said, was kind of where it all started for them, so they agreed to do a reunion concert. So that's going to be lots of fun. I would just say, like, when I look at, when I see the way people are struggling, like, that I come in my own life and that I come encounter with other people most of all, it, at the end of the day, the answer is almost always the same like as far as like how do, how do I find my path and how do I get back on track and it's always that same thing I was mentioning earlier about staying connected like spiritually connected with God and you know there's a verse that says you know I'm the vine and you're the branches he who stays you know within me can do much but with that, apart from me you can do nothing and that's absolutely true I've seen it time and time again in my own life and when I come to my huge dead ends I realize that I haven't been spiritually connecting with God. I've just been kind of going through the motions. So as you can probably tell, based on the fact that I'm no longer wearing my GA shirt, Life Fest is over. So it was a really fun three days. And the last day of Life Fest, the third day on Saturday, we did a lot of fun stuff. So when we got there, I got the opportunity to interview Trisha Brock, who is the lead singer of Super Chick. And then I had a more extensive interview set up with Dawn Michelle of Fireflight, so we did both of those interviews. And then we went and we saw Cast or yeah, we went and we saw Hot Nelson perform. So it was great to be able to get some pictures of them and see part of their performance. Then we went and let's see what else did we do? Well, after Hot Nelson was done, we interviewed them after they were done performing. And we also watched Super Chick's special reunion performance that they were doing just for Life Fest. So that was really great. And then, let's see, well, I actually caught part of Peter Fur Furler's performance as well. Now, he used to be the lead singer of Newsboys, so he did a bunch of the old songs that he used to sing when he was with them. He did Something Beautiful, Million Pieces, um, Shine, a lot of great songs that I really enjoyed hearing. And then I also caught part of Matt Meyer's performance and took some pictures of that. I watched For King and Country perform. They did a really, really incredible performance. I loved it. It was really good. They had their whole band doing a bunch of fun stuff. They had a trombone going, one of the huge drums they were banging on, xylophone. And they performed one of the songs actually kind of out in the audience or out on these stands that were kind of in the middle of the audience. So that was pretty cool. And so yeah, that was pretty much Saturday. So Life Fest was a really great weekend, super fun three days. Have lots of photos and interviews and I'll be posting over the next little bit. And that I'll be trying to get up as soon as I can. So it was an awesome weekend, great lineup of bands. The people at Life Promotions who put on Life Fest were really great to work with. And it was just a really fun weekend.